Recently, I've gotten multiple tips about a bot farm I really never thought I'd see again. I thought it was extinct. I covered this bot farm well over a year ago when I was first looking at bot farms in RuneScape, and it's at Solarin the Twisted. Not many people actually go to Solarin the Twisted, so it's off the beaten track for sure. But if you're looking for the bot farm, it's super easy to find. Every single one of the bots wears a Rune Kite trim, full mystics, a dragon sword when it's killing Chaos Druids, and a fire staff when it's killing Solarin the Twisted. They're farming sinister keys from Solaire and the Twisted, which are 30k each, and the mob drops them 1 in 12 times. What's interesting too is these mobs are really low level, but the bots have insanely high combat stats. Each account has 90 plus magic, and most of them have base 80 melee stats. I'm guessing just from killing the druids in Solaire and the Twisted, which would take a long time. I tried a lot of different ways to break the bots. I dropped the sinister keys, which they obviously just picked up and went back to farming the mobs. Their accept aid was off when I tried to tell the other them. I even tried breaking their cycle by splashing on Solaire and the Twisted to see if they were stuck on using the Fire Staff instead of the Dragon Swords for the Chaos Druids. None of it ended up really working. So I tried a different approach. I wrote down 15 of the bot's usernames that I found hopping through worlds and sent them off to the anti-cheating team at Jagex. The anti-cheating team took it from there and uncovered a lot more than I could and sent me some info. First of all, I only sent them 15 usernames. They confirmed that every single one of those accounts was a bot, but they also picked up an additional 36 other similar bots at Solaire and the Twisted. So the bot farm was at least 51 accounts, which is actually a lot for such a high level niche bot farm. The average account age was over 19 days each. The bots also didn't operate 16 plus hours a day. The average time spent per day in game was only eight hours. That's probably to try to avoid detection and seem a little bit more player-like. We'll get more into the stats Jagex sent me, but now a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to today's sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. When you walk into a store, you wanna make sure you're protected from wireless identity theft. You want all of your cards cards and cash organized, and you want to be proud of what you pull out of your pocket when you check out. That's why I recommend using the Ridge Wallet. Ridge sent me burnt titanium and carbon fiber. They look really nice. As you can see, they're super small. They fit right in your hand and easily into your pocket. I really like the look of the carbon fiber especially, which is also a little bit lighter because it's real carbon fiber. So go to www.ridge.com slash surpugger. The code is surpugger for 10% off your order. The link is in the description. Okay, back to this bot farm at Solarin the Twisted. The anti-cheating team also found lots of herbs and runes and bolts from killing the chaos druids, as well as obviously a lot of sinister keys. The team didn't pick up specific wealth data, but told me that each bot probably made 10 to 15 mil or so each day. I'm pretty sure they mean per 24 hour period of time logged in and not per day in terms of eight hours because Solarin the Twisted is not over a million GP per hour. But that actually means we can calculate the total amount of GP the bot farm has generated, obviously an estimation. There were 51 accounts picked up in the bot farm. In terms of 24 hours played, they made 10 to 15 mil each. Let's average that to 12.5 mil. And each account was over 19 days old. When we multiply all that together, the bot farm made roughly 12 billion in GP. That's probably a slight overestimation because a couple of those 19 days was probably spent training up agility, for example, to access this bot farm because you need 67 agility. This graph of the amount traded of sinister keys on the grand exchange confirms what the anti-cheating team was telling me. These specific accounts in the bot farm they found have been around for about two months because they play eight hours a day, but have 19 total days played, so 60 days total about. As you can see, over the past two months, way more sinister keys have been traded on the grand exchange than normal. It looks like six months ago the average was around 2,000 but now we're looking at closer to four to six thousand every single day. The cheating team wiped all of the bots and when I went back to check obviously none of them were online so I think they really did clear the entire bot farm. They also said they'd set something up to detect any other bots here further so Solaire and the Twisted is safe for now. Make sure to leave a like on this video for keeping Solaire and the Twisted away from the botters. The next location I investigated is in the Lizard Man Temple. I got multiple tips about this bot farm and the way to distinguish them is that they're wearing team capes. That's a super weird item to be wearing when you're killing a pretty high level boss. The tips were really specific and said that these bots seem to teleport out if they had low enough HP and if they ran into a new room with Lizard Men shamans and got hit they run back to the southern side and try again. There seems to be a lot of fishy things going on with their movement. Before I say more I want to note that a lot of accounts here are likely gold farmers as well. I found so many accounts that weren't wearing team capes with Ava's Accumulator, for example, and the only real notable stat they had on their account was range. These low levels, like level 80s, had 60 million range XP, 
some absolutely outrageous stats for an account that level. So it looks like there are large amounts of gold farmers here. But I quickly noticed that there were a large amount of relatively low level accounts that didn't seem to have been here that long wearing team capes. Some of them had blow pipes, but even the lower levels had runite crossbows before 75 range. So it seems to be a relatively new bot farm here. I tried to determine if there were bots by dropping runite warhammers around and the bots wouldn't get stuck if I dropped a runite warhammer outside the portal. They seem to just click on it and look away. It's also also definitely possible that the bots have some sort of cycle because they're killing a boss with different phases so they might not be programmed to just automatically collect any loot in their area whether they're bots or gold farmers they would pick up the runite warhammers pretty quickly and automatically alk them as soon as they picked them up it would make sense for there to be a lot of gold farmers and probably a bot farm here though because the boss is relatively low requirements as you can see mainly just range and some prayer and you can definitely make 500k an hour here probably over a mil pretty easily if you factor in the dragon warhammer in the last six months the Dragon Warhammer has been steadily decreasing in price from 60 mil down to 40 mil. The item is super valuable and has a lot of demand in PBM, so it should have a relatively stable price, but the number of gold farmers and I guess new bot farms are really making an influx of Dragon Warhammers just completely drop the price. The reason I would agree with the tip that was sent to me and think that the Team Cape players are bots is because when I re-looked up players while editing this video, four out of the five players I found wearing Team Capes either double changed their name or must have been banned. I'm guessing they were banned. Only RV29 was still around. All the accounts that weren't wearing team capes but looked like gold farmers are still around. This next bot farm is one of the ones I know for sure has made some of the most GP in the game. It's absolutely insane. The reason I'm looking into this bot farm is because a tip was sent to me from a guy who recovered his account and it had been turned into a minnows shark fishing bot. When he finally recovered the account and logged on, he had over 20 million fishing XP, obviously 99. He also had two 260,000 minnows in his inventory. The tip also said he noticed a lot of other suspicious accounts when he logged in that he thought were probably hacked bots like his account was. I went to check it out and immediately saw how big of a problem this was. Every single world had three plus low level accounts with well over 90 fishing, usually about 20 million fishing XP. And I was only looking at the accounts with combat levels below level 20 or so. There are plenty of other medium level accounts, level 50-ish, like the account that was hacked in the tip off email sent to me. To try to emphasize the scale of this bot farm, let's just do a really rough estimation. Let's say that there are only 100 of these bots out there. A lot of them have 20 million fishing XP and they should get about 50,000 XP per hour. That means that they fish minnows for about 400 hours. With current shark prices, fishing minnows is 300k per hour. And if you multiply all that together, you get 12 billion GP. Obviously, this is just a rough estimate. We don't actually know how many accounts are out there, probably more than 100. But on the other hand, the average amount of XP is probably slightly less than 20 million, probably closer to 15 million. The other thing to note is that fishing minnows is only 300k per hour right now because the price of raw sharks has decreased so much from these bot farms. Fishing minnows was 500k per hour, but it is absolutely insane that the price of raw sharks in the last six months went from 850 GP all the way down to less than 500 GP. Now, if we were considering this bot farm a little bit longer term, obviously lots and lots and lots of shark fishing bots get banned. Also, 100 accounts is more like an estimate of how many of these bots are only online right as I'm making this video. Over the past year, for example, the number of bots that have fished minnows up to 20 million fishing XP and gotten banned or aren't online, for example, is probably a lot closer to a thousand. Again, these are just really rough estimations, but that would put the value of this bot farm at 100 20 billion GP. Putting that into context of real world value, that's well over $60,000. And back when gold prices were a lot higher a few months ago, that would be closer to 100,000 US dollars. It's absolutely mind blowing to think that the RuneScape Minnows Fishing Bot Farm over the last year could have easily made enough gold to make 100,000 US dollars. If you think that number is outlandish, if you look at the amount of raw sharks traded every single day on the Grand Exchange, the average is roughly 10 million raw sharks. Let's say the price of a raw shark is 500 GP, that would mean 5 billion GP worth of raw sharks are sold on the Grand Exchange every day. If you even just estimated that half of those raw sharks come from bots, that would be 2.5 billion GP worth of raw sharks brought into the game from bots every single day, or roughly 75 billion GP per month. So 120 billion GP from a minnow fishing bot farm doesn't sound that outlandish over the span of 12 months. My last video covered a low-level bot farm that was nuking Corp using the retro 
distribution prayer. And one account named Tovetter was taking all the KC, I'm pretty sure by D Boeing Corp right before it died. That's just the theory. That video was uploaded on October 25th and the KC of Tovetter was 1400 corp kc it's november 20th now and tovether's kc has skyrocketed to almost 3000 almost 1600 corp kills in the last 25 days that puts this insanely low level account as rank 340th in corp kc that's absolutely insane i went back and re-reported every account i could just to see if they'll get banned i'll message jagex about it as well the average kill of corp is roughly 500,000 gold including rare drops so that means that this account has made 1.5 bill on average just from nuking corp in this weird small bot farm. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and remember to subscribe for more bot busting content. And if you see any suspicious activity, you can always report it to surpuggertipoff at gmail.com and you might see it in an upcoming video.